What's up? What's up, everyone? How you feel after a couple of days? Feel great. Yeah. Yep. Coach talked about uh, limiting your reps a little bit early on in camp. How, how have you found that dynamic? Like, where's, where's the threshold that, that you're allowed, that they're allowing you to get up to before they're pulling you back? Yeah, I'm just basically um, if I was to take six reps, I'll take three. Uh, I'm just working up, just being cautious of my my uh, transition back to full load. Harris, what did you learn about the game of football being out in here last year, and how has that prepared you for the game this year? Yeah, I think um, I've definitely studied a lot more. That's the only thing I could do. Obviously, I couldn't do it. anything physical in practice, just watching, being observing. Um, that's helped me just uh, improve a lot this year. Ohio State has talked a lot about the sense of urgency in camp because they're playing Notre Dame. Is that likewise here, or is that every week for, for you guys? Yeah, that's. I mean, every opponent we respect. Um, we prepare, we prepare the same way for everyone, so it's always a high urgency around here for um, every week. So that's how we take it day by day. Do you find that you appreciate the game differently after not being able to play last year? Yeah, for sure. I mean. Just not being able to play it just puts things in perspective that things could be taken away from you in an instant. So being out here every day, I'm just grateful to take every rep I can. What, what did you miss? What did I miss most? I miss running around with my my teammates. Uh, just m miss being out there with them. It kind of felt like not involved as much just because I couldn't practice and play, but I miss hitting people too. So. Being observant, being observant last year and coming in this year, does it get, kind of give you like a different perspective to help out your teammates and tell them what you saw when you weren't able to be physically out there? Right? Yeah, for sure. Especially for the freshmen. I mean, um, coming in, they don't get as much reps, obviously, as the, the older guys do, starters do. So um, just being encouraging to them, be, uh, helping them to stay positive and to, to always be mindful that there's always something they can do whether they end or not. When you get back out of the field with those guys, what did you see the biggest improvement since the last time you were I mean, just that aspect of appreciating the game more. I mean, I love it. We just said we're going to crush you, bro. But you got for us. They want to hear you sing, by the way. He's the best singer on the team. All right, you guys have a drill. Let's go. Ready? Hit the title show. Ready? I got it. I hit two. Girl, I know this might seem strange, but let me know if I'm out of order for stepping you this way. There we go. This is a sample. This is a sample. This is a sample. Where you going? <laughs> In the shower. <laughs> In terms of uh, preparing to hopefully make a college football playoff and win a national championship, what have you learned from a coaching staff that has been there and done that and been on that stage? Uh, from a coaching staff? Yeah, but what have you learned so far from, from the guys that have been there? Right. Um, just that stacking every day is so important. I mean, going out there and doing what you got to do even when you don't feel like it is just the main thing that they've taught me um, working hard every day. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.